What's up everybody? Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas from Center for Stingray Biology. Alright, so before we get into today's episode, I'm going to give you a quick few updates. We've had some comments in a couple of past videos asking for some updates on the, the Ray with the ingrown barb. Let me show you that. He's looking quite nice. It's oop, all healed up. You see that? Uh, okay, those guys are getting a little bit spooked. But that's the ray. You see the tail right there? It's all healed over. Unfortunately, I don't think we were able to reverse the stinger. It looks like it's still going to be ingrown. But only time can tell which direction it's going to grow. Okay? But other than that, it's doing very well, eating well, and as you can see, it's all healed up. One more update. I said I wasn't going to do an update on it anymore, but I think maybe about like a month, month and a half back, I had another ray that was getting picked on, and I had separated it over into another basket. If you guys remember, he was in here and all chewed up. Now there he is. If you guys can even remember, the sides were totally all torn up and bloody. Everything was all bloody all around the sides. He's all healed up, doing very nicely. And unfortunately, I remember telling you guys that there was an aggressive one in here. And I believe it is that one because he has no bite marks on it at all. And ever since I moved out this one, well, he started biting on this one. So you see, the same thing is starting to happen. The sides are getting chewed up. It's... It's bad, but it's not as bad as what this guy used to be, all bloody and shredded up. So, I'm going to have to see what I can do about this situation. Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the aggressive male by himself and then bring all these guys over into here. And hopefully we can find peace and harmony in that way. Alright, so now moving on into today's episode. I came into the shop and... Uh, we were expecting some babies, and of course, we got pups. What do we got this time? We got black hybrids. The mother is a black diamond cross with another black hybrid, and then the father is a pure black diamond. So these pups are, in terms of percentage of BD blood in them, it's pretty up there, it's up in the 90s. Oh look, real quick, get sidetracked. Look at this male. He's reversed upside down against the cage, and I have this female here that's separated. Now, I'm guessing, I've seen this a couple of times before, he does this because maybe when we had pups, oh, because of the pups being born, there's hormones released into the water, and the male sensed that. So, he's sensing a female in this cage, and he's probably trying to find a way in there so that he can mate her. How interesting is that? I might have to just release her down there so that we can get some uh, mating activity. But here we go into today's video. That's the father of the pups today. That's the mother right there. And then the pups are all the way back there. Let's see if I can zoom in there. They're all huddled up back there. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they all look to be pretty good size. And uh, you know what? I let me go get Oi, and then she can take over on the camera. And then we can start pulling those babies out and sexing them. So let's go see where Oi is. Hey, Oi, are you ready? All right, come on, let's go. We're all waiting for you. Everyone's waiting for you. What were you guys doing? Hard at work on your iPads, huh? Leave them alone. All right, let's go. All right, all right. You ready, boy? All right, let's go. Pup number one. If you can't see, you gotta hold it higher and aim down. Yeah, like that, then they can see more clearly what I'm doing. Let's bring these guys over. These pups were actually born. I found them when I first came in, but I had to take care of some other stuff first before getting around to doing this. Oh, wow, he's really nice. My goodness, look at the spots on this guy. And it's a good size, too. Let me get him into the tray, then you can see it better. Come on. 
Oops. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost the size of the tray, so I would say this is about one, two, three, four, almost five inches, four and a half, five, close to five. And it's a female. All right. Wait, is it? See, guys, sometimes what they do is the claspers, the, the, the fin, they squeeze together, and then I'm not able to see the little claspers on these little newborn fish. But see, now I'm, I'm playing with him a little bit, opening up, and I think it's actually a male. Oh, well, it's a male. It's the male. It's a, you see it? Yes. Okay, it's a male. It's the male. All right. It's okay. As long as we get good, healthy pups, I really don't mind what the sex is, honestly. The hard part is, now they're all in the back. This pole barely reaches. I mean, that's all you gotta just do one at a time. There we go. See, I gotta slowly nudge them out. I don't wanna like scrape them up. But after they've been in the tank for a while, they're settled in, so they they become slightly harder to catch. When they're just like freshly newborn, they're still kind of like disoriented. They don't know what's going on. But you see, these guys, they're very active and healthy and fighting back. Oh. Yeah. See. See. Okay. How's that guy looking? Nice. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's a female. Female. You see it clearly? You know yep. You know where to show them? Do I need to point? No. Uh, I... We are looking right here. It's the female. In between these two clasper fins. If it was a male, there'd be like these little, two little things sticking out. But this one, there's nothing there. So this one is a female. Okay, one boy, one girl. Okay. Now I know I've made quite a few of these videos already where I'm catching newborn fish, right? But I don't know if it's getting boring for you, but it never gets boring for me every time I'm pulling out new pups. I want you guys to let me know below if I'm doing too many of these types of videos, then uh, I will cut down on it a little bit. Uh, unless like something really, really special is born, then I'll do it. But if, if you guys are tired of seeing all these general births, just let me know. But I think there's a lot of new subscribers who didn't catch my earlier videos. So this would probably be like new content for them if they didn't go through all the old videos. But here he is right here, this guy. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so any true followers of my channel like I said, I've done so many of these videos. Wait. Yeah. I've done so many of these videos. Okay. You guys should by now know how to sex it. So everybody in the comments below. I'm not going to say the sex. But I think Oi might have like slipped it real quick. Hopefully I cut her off. But give them a good look, Oi. And then this is the third ray that I caught. Why don't you guys let me know what the sex of this one is. All right. And uh, we will continue this way. We'll continue this way with the, the remaining pups. And then you guys give me a total count of how many males and how many females and how many total pups we had today. All right? So I'm gonna stop counting now. I'm gonna rely on you guys to finish the count for me. So you guys need to pay attention. No skipping ahead. Or you're gonna get the wrong results. So that was three. This is going to be number four. So we're at ray number four. Now this guy looks a little bit more hybridish. The spots aren't as solid. A little bit more like randomized pattern. Okay. Let me clean off the bottom here. Hold on. So everyone can get a good look at it. Okay. You now you need to good or you need to do a good job and show them clearly that spot. Otherwise, they can't tell. Can you see it clearly? 
Okay, that's enough time for them? Yeah. Okay, so moving on. This is ray number four. Out. All right, so we're up to number five now. Wait. Wait, what? What happened if them got all the fish correct? Let me finish catching the rays first. Well, I want to know. I want to. I want to know. All right. Are you will give them a free fish? You're really putting me on the spot here. Well, okay. what happened if they get the answer correct? Would you be able to give them a free fish? Uh. All right. All right. All right. You know what? In the spirit of the holidays. A free baby stingray. Okay. 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 In the spirit of the holidays, you guys get each and every single ray the correct sex from number one all the way through number seven. Okay? You guys can put it in the comments below. Ray number one, the sex. Ray number two, the sex. Okay? And then um, sometime next week, we will go through the comments and everyone who has got the correct answers, we will put their names into a, a little bowl and draw out a winner. The winner will get a free stingray from Center for, for Stingray Biology. Okay, but of course, this, uh, I guess, challenge, if you wanna call it, um, is only good for people in the United States because if somebody in, in uh, I don't know, Singapore wins it, I, I can't send one ray over there. So, for within the United States, you guys, if somebody gets it right, okay, and you're the winner, you're the lucky winner, I will ship you out a free stingray. Not from this batch, but I will pick something out and then it will be a, a free giveaway, okay? For a gift. Huh? Free, free gift, right? Yeah, free gift. Do I get one? No, you don't get one. You put me on the spot. You just cost me a stingray, okay? <laughs> so, let's get back to it. Uh, and hope you guys are paying good attention now because there's something on the line for everyone here. How about, oh, why don't you get me something for Christmas? I need a GoPro. Mm. That way we can film on the water and everyone can see how cool this looks while I'm catching these pups. Why don't you do that for me, huh? Oh, let's see how good you are. <laughs> okay, let's see how good I am. Now we'll uh, get you one. Okay. So this is number five. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really nice. Let me clean off the bottom. Ready? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's it. Is that quick enough? It's too fast. I, I don't mean it's too fast. I gotta make it difficult for people. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's open it up so that I can make sure too. Okay, I think I, I know what this is. All right. Everyone got a good look? Time's up. Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Okay. All right, two more to go. Uh, okay. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. No. Bye. Run away with that. Yep. There it goes. Yep. Wait. What? Wait. What? Oh. Let everyone see the. Okay. Okay. I, I think everyone's more excited to see the bottom of the ray at this point. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh geez. So six right now. One more. Huh? One more? Okay. Wow, this one's really nice too. Yep. See, and that's the beauty of the hybrids. Some people have this misconception that hybrids are cheaper, and that's not necessarily true. All as breeders, what we're doing is we're hybridizing to try to create something better. And of course, in the process of hybridization, 
there are some that aren't gonna come out very good. You know, there's the good ones, there's the average ones, and then there's the, bless you. It's the super nice ones, right? And that's the goal. So just because we say hybrid, don't, don't think that um, pure is worth more than hybrid. In many, many, many instances, I would say almost 90% of the cases out there, some of the most expensive rays are hybrids, not purebreds. Okay, last Please. one. What the? Okay, let's open this guy up and get a good look. Wow. Okay, is it clear? Everyone got to see it? Hold on. <laughs> I think so, okay. Is it, was it clear? It's clear, but the, the, the thing over here, this okay. thing is blocking it. Okay, right there, see? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that's yeah. enough time. <laughs> so I know the results. Oh. Oi knows the results. So we're waiting to hear back from you guys. And uh, like I said, the winner will get a free Stingray. So thank you guys for watching. You know what? I, I don't want, I feel bad for excluding people outside the United States. Let's do it this way. We have these beautiful keychains, um, these Stingray keychains. Okay, let me see, let me show you guys. We got these black ones and these gold ones. Yes, can, can they see it clearly? No. Yeah, hold it. Yeah, show them right there. This. Okay, I got these and I got these. Okay, so for all of you guys who are not within the U.S. where I can send you a live stingray, how about I send you one of these stingrays, all right? So that way, all you got to do is send me your address, I'll pay the postage, and anywhere in the world. If you're right and you happen to win, you got it. All right? How's that? So thank you guys again for watching, and uh, good luck to everybody. See you guys soon.